As we've just heard about Washington, D.C., these ranks and scores are not static, and neither are we. If you're born into a county with a low grade, which makes steady progress over a decade, by the time you're 10 years old, you benefit from the positive momentum and new possibilities. Let me share a couple of other quick trends. The good news from the 2011 to 2012 index data is that more states are moving in a positive direction than are sliding back, and over half of counties have stayed the same. Unemployment dropped in most states, and at the county level, the dimension that saw the strongest improvement was education, with 60% of counties seeing upward movement in education indicators, a real step in the right direction. On the other hand, income inequality worsened in over half of states, and most distressing, the rate of youth out of school and out of work rose in 28 states and 57% of counties. There is a robust relationship between the proportion of youth who are not in school and not working and low opportunity as measured by the index. In fact, this indicator has the strongest correlation with opportunity index scores at the state level, underscoring that the fate of this generation is not theirs alone, but that we are all interconnected and interdependent. In the top 10 ranked states, the percentage of disconnected youth dropped slightly. But in bottom states, it rose by an average of 1% over the last year. And relatedly, on-time high school graduation and the share of adults with post-secondary education is also strongly correlated with scores. And that's why these are critical rungs that must be mended. Unsurprisingly, counties with more people in poverty have a lower opportunity grade. Across the board, when academic and economic forces align, opportunity index scores rise. So our 10-year goal, and we hope you share this with us, is to increase opportunity scores over the next decade by at least 10% in all 50 states. When we launched the index last year, we couldn't predict all the ways it would spark action. But our grassroots leaders shared the data with elected officials that used the information to start service projects, awareness campaigns. Professors and students brought the index into the classroom to critically examine the relationship between geography and opportunity. So there is a role for each of us in rebuilding the ladder. We've talked today a lot about big numbers, millions of young people who want their shot. And at the county level, these figures quickly transform from abstract numbers to real lives. When opportunity leader Linda Nelson learned that 460 young adults in Wachita County, Arkansas, needed to connect to work or school, she stepped up to start an action community beginning with life and career planning workshops for young adults. So take a look now on your name card and see your hometown's grade and the percentage of youth disconnected from school and work there. And on your phone or back at a computer, check out your score at your current address at www.opportunityindex.org. What can you do to reduce that number? What is your organization doing to reduce that number? And once you've identified it, go to our national impact map, get in touch with us, and tell us what you are doing and what we can do together. If you're already involved with a multi-sector effort to expand opportunity, you can incorporate the index in your goal setting. We encourage established institutions and passionate individuals alike to who want to make an impact on their scores to pledge to become an action community, working on a coordinated effort to increase your score. Together, let's rebuild the ladder of opportunity in America for all of us. Thank you.